So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> oh. What's the protocol for reuniting with your long-lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it.
she saw grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alice just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Lath, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> hey Gabe. Riley, meet my sister Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen.
Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. You can make anything pretty, if you shove a bouquet inside. This gnome has been places. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. No problem. <laughs> hey ladies, what are you drinking? <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. get in. Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. You should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. Wow. Just... wow.
what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh. Hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry, really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way.
Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's a cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, Palmer, the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. I could spend hours sitting here. Maybe I will. This is Haven Springs. Standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. You're not the boss of me, poster. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? 
I don't think so. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? He seems cool for a tree cop. Ninth Warden, hero of the intergalactic peace wars and friend to lonely children everywhere. Okay, Steph, let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Okay, a seriously obscure indie pattern. Color me impressed. Wait. Is that the hold list? Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. I love that this town has their own radio station. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Valkyrie, that's one badass cat name. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. I love that this town has their own radio station. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. It's been so long since I've played. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Are you trying to die? I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but she can be kind of a mess. Valkyrie, that's one badass cat name.
don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Whoa. Deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. Looks like a toy could live here. What if... He exclusively listens to Smash Mouth. Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. A good place for toy safekeeping. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? that he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Shelves are meant for holding things, right? Prime cat toy real estate. Maybe in the junk box. Ah. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. He seems cool. For a tree cop. the superior mammal now. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Should've known. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here.
Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He smoked cigarettes, which at the time I thought was awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was 12. Damn, the legend only grows. <laughs> All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just... No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? I'm great, thanks. Just, did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. <laughs> 